If you are at 35% body fat, starting a fat loss journey can be overwhelming. There is so much conflicting information, but I am here to clear up all of the confusion. You will learn all about the step-by-step -step process I use with my online coaching clients to achieve fat loss success and keep it off in the long term. This is my online coaching client, Zakaria, who has lost 37 kilograms of fat in 10 months while also getting stronger in the gym. I will be using Zakaria's journey as a real life example in this video to show how you can also go from 35 to 15% body fat in a healthy way. The first and most important point is about realistic goal setting. When you are at 35% body fat, being 15% body fat may look very far away. The same was the case for Zakaria. When Zakaria was at 117 kilograms, it was tough to imagine what he would look like at 80 kilograms. So we need to set checkpoint goals. You do not have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. The first checkpoint when you are 35% body fat is to go down to 25%. Once you have achieved that goal, then work your way down towards 20% body fat. But here is the important part. The approach that made you lose fat at the start of your journey may not continue to produce progress over time. You will eventually have to change up your approach if you want to get leaner and go below 20% body fat. As you progress, your fat loss approach also needs to progress, and I will show you exactly how to manage these changes. Let's start with the initial progress from 35% to 25% body fat. For Zakaria, this was going from about 117 to 102 kilograms. You probably know the feeling when you first start a new fat loss phase. You start eating healthier, pick up some exercise, and within a few weeks, you start feeling lighter on your feet. When you go from a relatively unhealthy lifestyle to eating more whole foods and also exercising, progress will naturally happen. In this initial process, you will see great results by having simple healthy habits. And there are particularly two powerful nutrition habits here. First, have mostly home-cooked meals that are focused on being protein-rich with a good vegetable portion. And secondly, limit your snacking throughout the day while only having fruits in between meals. This is not to say that snacking or eating outside food is by definition fattening. But we do know from research that the average restaurant meal is around 1200 to 1500 calories. And a higher snacking frequency throughout the day is associated with having a higher daily calorie intake. So having healthy home cooked meals and reducing your snacking frequency is an easy way to lower your calorie intake and be in a calorie deficit without having to track your calories. Now, next to nutrition, we also need to exercise. Many people start focusing on cardio when they are at 35% body fat. While cardio is helpful, I still recommend in this case to focus mostly on lifting weights three to four times per week, even if someone is overweight or obese. Protecting your muscle is crucial for a successful fat loss phase. Most people do not just want to shrink their body and become a skinny fat version of themselves as they lose a lot of weight. You probably want to have good muscle tone and definition as you get leaner like Zakaria does here, without too much loose skin after you lose a lot of weight. Focusing on lifting weights is absolutely key to make sure to maintain good muscle definition and tone as you are dropping body fat, so that you can ultimately achieve your physique goals. Research also shows that maintaining muscle is directly related to long-term fat loss success, because the more muscle you carry, the less your metabolism slows down. Muscle is metabolically active tissue, so keeping a healthy amount of muscle by lifting weights as you are in a calorie deficit will make it easier to keep the fat off. By the way, how to design your lifting workouts is highly individual and depends on your training experience. If you want a science-based training approach that is fully personalized based on your current fitness needs, visit the link in my description to apply for my New Year's online coaching intake and I will help you out. The next progress step is going from 25 to 20% body fat. Let's say you follow the approach of eating healthy, protein-rich, home-cooked meals and lift weights three to four times per week. This will help you go from 35 to 25% body fat in around 10 to 12 weeks time. Focusing on healthy and protein-rich meals works in the beginning because you go from relatively unhealthy eating patterns to a more nutrient-dense nutrition approach. These nutrient-dense foods tend to be lower in calories and place you in a deficit. But eventually, your body may get used to eating these healthy foods and you can start feeling hungrier, so you simply start eating larger quantities. That's why if you really want to take that next step from 25 to 20% 20 body fat, being more strict with your nutrition tracking is key. This is typically where I like to introduce tracking your daily calorie and protein intake. Tracking your nutrition results in higher calorie awareness. And this is why research shows that tracking calories helps you lose more fat in the long term. Because also healthy foods like avocados, salmon and nuts can run up your calorie intake without you noticing it. If you get hungry and start snacking a bit more on nuts and dried fruits, this can result in 300 to 400 extra calories in a day, which then diminishes your calorie deficit and you stop losing fat. 
I recommend at this stage to only track your calories and protein intake because these are the variables that really move your progress forward. I am not a fan of tracking all your macronutrients like also counting carbs, fats and fiber because it's quite tedious. Research shows that as long as you are in the calorie deficit and consuming of daily protein, you will see the same progress, regardless of your carbohydrates and fats ratio. I maintain the same approach with Zakaria. I only gave Zakaria a daily calorie and protein target while also advising him about how to create filling and enjoyable meals that fit his lifestyle. If you don't know where to start with your calorie goals, a good general rule of thumb is to maintain between 10 to 12 calories per pound of your goal body weight and maintain a protein intake of at least 1.6 grams per kilogram of your goal body weight. So if your goal body weight is 90 kilograms or 200 pounds, your estimated calorie intake should be somewhere between 2000 to 2400 and your protein intake should be at least 140 grams per day. With the approach I just described, Zakaria went from 102 to 90 kilograms in 15 weeks. Now that you're at 20% body fat, we have to look into how you can get to that desired 15% body fat. And again, the more you progress, the more your fat loss approach needs to progress. Because as you get leaner, your body gets lighter and you go through metabolic adaptations that make you burn fewer calories in a day. So the approach that got you from 25 to 20% body fat may not get you to 15% body fat. And we experienced this as well with Zakaria. To get from 20 to 15% body fat, we had to increase our calorie deficit. There are three ways you can increase your calorie deficit. You can lower calorie intake, increase exercise, or a combination of the two. With Zakaria, we focused mostly on increasing activity, but not through exhausting cardio. We did it through regular walking. Walking is highly underrated as a fat loss tool. One 2017 study found that walking an extra 22 minutes on a daily basis helped the participants lose 20% more fat compared to only restricting calorie intake. So what we did differently during this phase is that Zakaria went on a 30 minute walk during his lunch break. This 30 minute walk was performed on top of his regular lifting workouts and calorie target that I advised him to maintain. The extra walking really took our fat loss phase to the next level and I am proud to say that Zakaria then went to 15% body fat in a 15 week time frame. So if we count all the steps together, Zakaria went from 35 to 15% body fat in 10 months total. It's important to mention that we are all human, so we all have our off days. It's not about perfection, but about consistency. I mess up my nutrition at times, and Zakaria's process was not perfect either. But the key habit that made Zakaria's fat loss phase a success is that he never missed twice. If you have one off day, make sure that you get back on it the next day with no guilt or punishment. One bad day will not make or break your progress. Just move on, get back on it, and continue the process. Once you have achieved 15% body fat, I generally recommend you go into a maintenance phase to allow your body to get used to this new physique that you have. At 15% body fat, you may not have the most shredded abs yet, but you are at a very healthy body fat. And if you stayed consistent with lifting weights, you now also have good muscle definition. After such big fat loss progress, I recommend that at least for two months you focus on eating at maintenance and have more a performance-based nutrition approach. Feed your body well with healthy food, but just at a higher maintenance calories target. This is also what I'm doing with Zakaria now. After the successful fat loss phase, we are currently focusing more on muscle and strength development while maintaining body fat percentage. I talked a lot about Zakaria's progress in this video. Let's hear from Zakaria himself about his fat loss journey. Hello, my name is Zakaria. Uh, I've truly enjoyed working with Munir. Uh, he's very empathetic and uh, adaptable. I've uh, lost uh, 37 kilos thanks to him. I couldn't recommend anyone better than uh, Munir for this and I'm super happy with him. If you, like Zakaria, want my help in achieving your fitness goals, you can apply to my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service. I will personally design your training and nutrition while advising you throughout the process. Now that it's the New Year's, I'm taking on new clients, so definitely make sure to apply to secure your spot. More than a thousand people have already completely transformed their fitness with my help, and I would love for you to be next. For now, that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.